Hey everyone, and welcome back to the galaxy. Today, we will be learning how to use the measure tool. This tool allows you to measure distances and angles in your project. It also allows you to straighten skewed photos and objects to their correct orientation. Let's look at how we can start a measurement. First, make sure that Use Info window is checked. This is where all the information about our measurement will be displayed. To start a measurement, click on your canvas to create a point, and continue to hold your mouse button down as you drag out. A line from the original point to your mouse point will be created and will move as you move your mouse. If you let go, the measurement will remain and you can edit both the starting and ending points. In the info box, we can see how the information changes as we edit our measurements. The first number measures the distance of the line created, so this diagonal line, from the end and start point. The second number measures the angle. The final numbers measure the width and height. Width and height are best explained in relation to a shape. I have a rectangle here that I need to determine the width and height of. I will start my measurement at the top right hand corner of the rectangle and I will drag it diagonally to the bottom left corner. Height will measure the difference in length vertically between the beginning and end point. So this side of the triangle will be measured. Width will measure the difference horizontally between the beginning and end point. So this bottom edge of the rectangle from here to here. Now let's look at some of this tool's options. Under orientation, there are three options to choose from. These adjust the extra line you see here, which determines the angle. Auto automatically places the angle starting point, either vertically or horizontally. When creating a point, the angle measurement will automatically set a starting point, either vertically or horizontally. This will measure in 45 degree increments before snapping to the next orientation. See how as I drag the measurement point around, how the starting angle line moves around the point. Horizontal keeps the angle measurement point in the horizontal plane now allowing you to measure in 90 degree increments before snapping to the other side. Vertical keeps the angle measurement point in the vertical plane, again allowing you to measure in 90 degree increments before snapping to the other vertical side of the point. To measure up to 180 degrees, we can hold shift and click and drag from a pre-existing point. And now we can create 180 degree angles. The measurement tool also has a great feature called straighten. This can be used to correct skewed photographs or objects. Straighten modes, interpolation and clipping have options that coincide with many of the transformation tools. Click the card in the top right hand corner to learn more. We will correct two different types of photographs, one that doesn't line up with the layer boundary and one that has a skewed horizon. Take note of which options I've selected under interpolation and clipping for each of these transformations. I've also found that setting orientation to auto will produce the best result. And before we start, we want to make sure that the layer with our photograph is active by clicking on it. First, let's correct an image that is tilted. I will create a starting point on the top left point of the photograph 
and line it up with the top edge of the photograph. Then I will click Straighten. Next, we have a photograph with a tilted horizon. To correct this, I will create a point on the inside of the photograph near the start of the horizon. Then I will draw a measurement line that follows the line of the skewed horizon. Once again, I will click Straighten. Finally, let's look at a few keyboard shortcuts that will help you use this tool to its full potential. Holding Control on a PC or Command on a Mac, we can click measurement points and instantly create a horizontal guide. Likewise, holding Alt while clicking a point will create a vertical guide. Holding the Alt and Command or Control key together will create a vertical and horizontal guide at the same time. You can also hold Alt and Command or Control and click on the measurement line to drag the entire thing. While dragging an endpoint, hold Command or Control for the angle to snap every 15 degrees. And that's it. You now know how to use the measure tool in GIMP. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, consider subscribing for more awesome content. Let us know if you found this tutorial helpful by liking this video and leaving us a comment. Thanks for watching.